today, <laughs> today, I'm so serious, today, <laughs> I'm going to talk about the biggest problem that all we have. Wow. This morning, our mentor Yurin asked us something, right? What was something? What was something? What kind of drink? Yes, there was a question about what we're gonna drink, right? Mm -hmm. Then, what was your answer? <laughs> me too, me too. Anything, <laughs> everything is up to you, right? So she was very serious about that. What I have to buy it for American nuts or for fruit juice or for strawberry juice or one mango and one grape juice. She will be so considered about choosing the drink, right? Nowadays, we have a serious problem with making decisions. Uh, as you know, having difficulty of making decisions is not a mental disorder. Mm -hmm. But the mass of people today already have already burned out making decisions. Though it is not a big choice, we spend a lot of time making decisions. For example, what do you want to eat for lunch? Mm -hmm. Everything, anything, I like everything, right? Mm -hmm. And where are we going? Uh, I'm following you. <laughs> Everywhere, okay. And then, what am I going to wear today? Uh, what, what should I have to wear? Mm -hmm. Recently, there are a lot of home-style cooking. <laughs> Just one menu for today. Oh. And same as we eat at home. Uh, it is pretty popular to people who cannot, uh, who have problem with taking a meal oneself. Plus, they offer today's menu without choosing. So, people don't have to worry about choosing meal that is not much new for them. Because word becomes complex and is full of information and various alternatives, even choosing a lunch menu is the biggest problem to us now. So, 결정장애 Decision making disorder means suffering psychology as a matter of choice. To be or not to be, that is a question. <laughs> the Hamlet syndrome is a coined word that means a situation who cannot make a decision by himself or herself. By abundance of information and education major in college interests. <laughs> it's a word which comes from tragic dialogue that Denmark prees Hamlet's revenge and personal consideration, and it means that same which decision making a decision with disabilities or disabled with decision making. Development of network enabled to share so much information, and there comes countless information per second. The chart differs among online stores and someone praise or blame, even though it's the same product. The restaurant, which is subject, is more serious. This is, uh, it is different from taste, whether it is expensive or not, or how the service is in it, in the same menu. Uh, actually, information shares a personal experience, right? And uh, Hamlet syndrome is a side effect by sharing only the result of experiences. Of course, results like taste, chart, profit is an important decision factor. But it is the syndrome caused by the personal or organization situation and taste and plans which doesn't consider the situation but only evaluate just the result. Mm -hmm. Then, how to solve this strange illness? To increase our satisfaction in making decisions, first, build a clear and definite goal. If you set a clear goal, that, can, that will help your choice. If the situation get your job or take a priority, whether it is for money or it is for honor or self-realization, uh, or the situation like choosing a clothes, Think about a purpose that is related to company, or a meeting, or a friend's appointment. The second, don't be afraid to fail. In our life, there is not a best choice. It could be good 
then think, oh, it's luck day. Though it could be bad, but never mind. There will be happy present in your near future. So please think positively, and no matter how, uh, think positively, no matter how your choice turns out. Follow your mind and believe your institution. Thank you.